Hi guys, how are you? So today we're gonna do a little eye tutorial and I wanna do it on a look that I don't normally wear a lot because sometimes I find it to be kind of unflattering. Uh, but I really wanna show you a way that I feel like it actually can be really flattering and can kind of work for any eye shape, obviously. This is one of those looks where it's like a different lash line color on the lower lash where it's like a more vibrant, bold pop of color than the top lid. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and how to make it look, you know, just right, just right. Okay, we're a little more zoomed in. So I'm gonna first start to build the top lid, which is just going to be a neutral lid. I think it's just going to be very neutral. Um, we're gonna use one of my favorite palettes of all time. This is the M Cosmetics Divine Skies in Rodin colorway, uh, R-O-D-I-N. It's named after an artist and I absolutely love these. These are so boring to some of you, but to me they are insanely beautiful and they are such a beautiful quality. I'm gonna start with this brush. This is from Sahur's Art and I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades here. I would love to really start with that nice neutral brown and then integrate a little of that peachy brown in the mix, but I'm just going to start focusing this on the upper lid and just blending this out. This is my transition color and I'm not worried about taking it all the way over the lid because it will transition nicely that way. Just using back and forth motions and also slightly swirling the brush using really light pressure. We have this nice little patch of acne I had earlier this week healing up, which is great. Just been keeping my routine really gentle as it heals. So I am gonna take that peachier shade right here and go and kind of throw that into the mix. I'm not going to make a huge discrepancy. I'm honestly just mixing it in with the brown using the same exact brush. This is just adding a bit of warmth to that already really neutral transition we have going on. So at this point, I want you guys to think about it this way, like how dark do you want the color under your eye? Because you want to analyze that depth and then mimic that depth on the upper lash line, no matter a different color, if you decide. So I want my color underneath my eye to be a little deep, a little rich. And I might even have it transition from being darker on the outer corner to a little bit brighter. Same kind of colorway family, but maybe two different shades. So what I'm going to start to do is build a little depth on my upper lash line. I'm going to take one of my favorite pencils. This is Milani Pencil in Semi Sweet. This is their Stay Put formula. It's a twist up formula. I'm just going to start adding a tiny touch of this to my outer corner of my upper lash line. I'm gonna blend it out real quick before it sets down. And I'm gonna start adding this deeper shade of brown from this palette as well, from the M Cosmetics palette on top of that pencil. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little smoky, a little sultry. I'm fading it upward into the outer V almost. almost. I pretty much will always keep my brushes as I'm working with them close by because I will switch on and off to help further blend after each step. You can keep a clean brush near you as well. That's really helpful. I'm starting to bring that darker shade a little bit farther up just to kind of lift the eye, keeping my eye open as I do this so that I know exactly where my placement's going. And again, taking my original brush just to blend that, make it really soft. I don't want any harsh edges. I'm gonna add a bit of shimmer to this look, so I'm gonna take this little bronzy shade right there and throw that in the center of my eye. I'm gonna use my finger at first and then take it a little bit more into the inner portion. And I can bring it up. I don't care if it does. I like a little bit of an all over shimmer. Taking my original crease brush and just blending through. The shadows are so amazing to blend and work with. And I love the neutrality of these tones. I feel like it's really hard to get true neutrals these days. So I wanted to find the deeper, the deeper shade of the pop of color and then the lighter shade of the pop of color to really transition. Because I have darker color on the upper lash line, I want to mimic that depth and the same depth of the other color at the same placement and then brighter on the inner corner, just as well as how it's going on the upper lash line. I want to mimic that on the lower lash line. So I found this green from this palette that I just got. This is the Valfrey Electric Garden Palette. It's so pretty. And I really, really like this green right here, which is called Ivy. And I'm going to add that to my lower lash line now on the outer corner. Starting with a little bit of a pencil brush. This is from ColourPop. I'm just going to start to 
work this across the lower lash line about to the halfway point of my iris. I'm bringing this color quite low on my under eye, but you definitely don't have to. You can keep it really, really tight to the lash line and get a great effect. But because my eyes are shaped pretty round, this actually really flatters them really nicely. Next, I'm going to take my lighter shade that's going to complement this. And this is actually from the Play um, Love Child palette, the, the brand Play. I really love this palette. It's completely recyclable. I'm going to take this shade right here and put that in the center part of my eye or to the inner part. <laughs> Center to inner. It's just a little brighter and a little bit more pastel than what we have on the outer corner. We are going to top this whole lower part with shimmer, but I do want to get my nice little gradient down prior to adding that in the mix. One thing that's really going to flatter this look is taking this deeper green color, Ivy, to the upper lash line just a touch. And this is what I feel like really pulls this look together. Otherwise, it's kind of a startling comparison. And of course, when mascara gets in the mix, it won't be as much. But adding just a little bit of this to the outer lash line and connecting low on the lower really pulls this look together, in my opinion. And you can keep your eye open to figure out your exact placement for it and then close it to connect and blend. This also is working really well because I use a damp brush. It's a little bit of a pearl in this shadow, so it works really well wet. Next, I'm gonna take this fractal glitter eye paint from About Face and all about the Benjamins and run it along the lash line for some extra sparkle and texture. I'm just gonna take this same brush I was working with and take a small, small amount of that glitter and Woo, a little goes such a long way. I'm filming this on 420, so this is definitely gonna serve its purpose. <laughs> this is my kind of green holiday. St. Patrick's Day, you can get lost. Before I'm even adding mascara, I just think that I do need a little bit more depth. Like I'm saying, it's a little startling when you don't have a matching depth on the outer corner. So I'm grabbing this shade Supper from the Mona Sahur's Art Palette, the Mona Palette my go-to. I'm just running a little bit of that on top of the glitter, really close to the outer lash line. And because it's being applied at top, on top of shimmer, it's going to be more sheer. So don't be afraid to build up pigment where you really want it. Okay, the mascara combo I'm going to be using today is the Freck Lash Rocket, followed by the Milk Rise Mascara, and then another coat of the Lash Rocket from Freck. I do a three coat process and it works so nicely and you'll see the results. Okay, so this is what it looks like with mascara on, which is absolutely essential on the top and lower lashes when you're doing a look like this, because this is the thing that's actually really combining the look together, giving it a sense of commonality from the upper and lower lash lines. And that is how it really can kind of like be synchronized and harmonious and look incredible. I'm just gonna polish this off today with Beams from Rosink. I'm obsessed with this, so I haven't stopped using it. It is so comfortable and weightless. And the color is super neutral and kind of looks good with everything. So that is the finished look, guys. I haven't worn a look like this in so long that I'm just like blown away by it. I think it looks really, really nice. And the color is matching my shirt elements. I'm gonna zoom you out. Brain dead, babe. <laughs> Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I. I hope maybe you will have this up on the weekend. So I hope you're enjoying your weekend and I want to know what you want to see next. Please hit me up. Tell me in the comments. I will read those. <laughs>